Good day, everybody. You've just hit level 25 on your Hunter in Season of Discovery, and you're wondering what to do next. Well, there's one really good farm you can do, and you can knock off two of your previous pieces at the same time. You can see here, Leggings of the Fang are going to drop from the first boss in Wailing Caverns, which is the main reason you do this run. And you can also get some Deviant Scales, as well as the perfect Deviant Scales from the Trash Mobs. Right now, I'm using Aspect of the Lion, Flanking Strikes because I melee weave, and we're using Beast Mastery. This is my talent build right here, 16 points into the Beast Mastery tree, and I'm using a Scorpid Pet with Scorpid Poison and Growl turned on autocast. By no means was this run perfect, but you can do it in about 15 to 17 minutes if you're pretty quick. You can slow down, take it a little slower. You can see throughout this run, I'm going to be pulling quite heavily, and at one point I almost die. So take it slow. I'll point out trash mobs that patrol and some of the dangerous pulls along the way. All right, moving on to the run itself now. Nothing special on this first raptor. It's just a single deviate guardian, so kill it as normal. It's not too tough. In this run, like I mentioned earlier, you know, it took me about 17 minutes, but I'm skinning and I was stopping on every raptor and croc to skin it. I needed all the leather I need right now, and as well as going for devious scales and perfect devious scales. All right, next pull here, we see we have an ectoplasm spawn. This is a patrol, so you want to kill this when it's at the top of the ramp. Again, nothing special. Just nuke it down as quick as you can. As you see here, I'm I'm melee weaving on pretty much every mob in this run, but you definitely don't have to do it. It's going to be a little bit more mana intensive, so you're going to have to stop more often. All right, bottom of the ramp here. You see I dropped a freezing trap for the first raptor, kill the guardian really quick, and about halfway through this guardian, the first raptor is going to be coming out of the trap. So quill the guardian as quick as you can. I move to the bottom of the ramp, the ramp here so that this ravager takes longer to get to me. We've killed the Guardian now, and we're moving on to the Ravager. I go in, and I start melee weaving, probably a little sooner than I should have. But now that the Scorpid has got the aggro, we can go back to our normal rotation of just melee weaving, killing the Raptor. Alright, first difficult pull is down. You can see here I'm stopping, skinning every mob. So you definitely don't have to do this if you're not skinning. It'll speed your run up quite a bit. Next pull here. You can pull these two raptors. There's another one behind the wall on the right there, but you can pull these ones separately, which is what I do. You can just kill them one at a time. Okay, now that these two raptors are dead, after I skin here, you'll see we have two more raptors through this first doorway. Now you have to be careful as there is a druid of the fang that's going to patrol left to right, as well as another ectoplasm that patrols left to right. Drop a freezing trap, trap one of the guardians, nuke the other one down, and you want to pull it back into this little cubby here so that you don't pull the patrols that are running by. If you do pull the patrols, it's not necessarily a death that you're really going to have to play carefully. Wing clip and kite the mobs around. I just pull back into this room, play it safe. Okay, the first two raptors are down. You'll see that ectoplasm at the top right of the screen that just kind of ran by, and the druid of the fang on the right. See, I check both ways, make sure that they're both out of the way. I'm not going to pull them. Put Aspect of the Cheetah on, and you'll see there's another Ectoplasm that walks up and down this ramp. So you're going to want to stick to the right and make sure you don't pull it. If you do pull it, it's not the end of the world. You can just nuke it down. Now, you'll also see Crash just walk by there. If you're farming Deviate Scales and Perfect Deviate Scales, you can kill him for a chance at an extra one, but it's really not necessary. I just pass him most of the time. Keep the runs going, speed it up a little bit. In this quick hallway, there's two little crocolisks. They're normal. They're not elite, so they're really quick to kill. I usually just pull this one with me as I'm running to the next ramp. Kill it down really quick, and I stop to skin it. 
before slowing my run down a bit. This Crocolis in this next room here, you can run by it, but in this run, he was a little further to the right than normal, so I pulled it. Again, you can skip it if you want. It's a normal mob. Kill it really quick. It doesn't matter. Now, up this ramp, this is going to be your first difficult pull. You'll notice here, things get a little dicey for me, and I pull pretty much all four mobs at, at the same time. I barely make it through it. And there's two patrols you want to watch for. There's going to be a Druid of the Fang that walks down all the way. As you can see her coming down the ramp now. I pull her a little earlier than I probably should have. And as a result, I end up pulling pretty much everything on this ramp. So there's this Druid of the Fang I just marked with a skull. And there's also one of the Cobras that patrols up and down this ramp as well. Pretty much to where the skull is right now. If you really want, you can wait for, this, for the uh, Cobra to pat all the way down. Kill it solo. And then wait for the Druid of the Fang to come all the way down. Kill it solo. But I was being impatient, pulled everything all at once. You see that, got that Viper on the right there coming down now. Again, if you're new to this, I would wait for the Raptor, not the Raptor, the Viper to come all the way down. But you see here, I pull it. I got, I got a little you know, trigger happy. And as a result, I also pulled the other Viper further up the ramp. So now I got three Vipers on me. You know, I'm having a kite. I'm wing clipping both of these Vipers that are on me trying to kill the viper that's on my pet really quick and i had to do some kiting around jumping down this little ramp here getting around los and it's pretty dicey you know i'm almost dead my pet's pretty healthy but you see we make it through in the end so i'm completely oom now i've got 135 health i'm sort of panicking but my pet's got aggro so i'm not too worried about it again I would not do this pull like this. Don't do it like me unless you know what you're doing. Make it through, but try it and pull the Druid of the Fang and one of the the Vipers or the De Deviant Adder solo. Take your time and you'll have no problems. All right, so now we Aspect of the Cheetah. Back into Aspect of the Lion. There's one more Druid of the Fang at the top here. The patrols, you can sneak by him, but I was after loot and I just decided to kill him anyways. After this trash pack, there's a little skip you can do to avoid all these mobs on the right side, and we'll show you that momentarily after we kill this druid. Alright, so you can jump up this little ledge here, skip all those mobs on the right, and we'll be coming up on a druid of the fang and some, some vipers on the right side there. The way I take care of the vipers is I multi-shot into them, arcane shot as I'm running up to them, and hit them with a raptor strike, and that's generally enough to kill them all. Sometimes I'll set my pet on them as well just to clean them up a little quicker and then get onto the Druid of the Fang, but it's up to you how you want to handle it. It's really not that difficult of a pull. Alright, so we see all the Deviant Pythons die really quickly, and we're back on the Druid of the Fang. Now, I don't know if you caught that really quick on the left side, but there's a Viper coming down the hallway. It's a patrol that you can either skip and run past, or you can kill it. Generally, I'd recommend killing it as if it rocks into you while you're doing another pull, it's probably going to result in a death. So just take care of it really quickly. It's just a solo viper. And as you can see here, I am melee weaving to the max. You really don't have to melee weave if you don't want to while doing this pull, but during Wailing Caverns, you know, why not melee weave? Speed it up a little bit. Alright, we'll wait for the skinning of the three pythons. Again, you don't need to skin like I am here, but I am definitely after the perfect deviate scales as they sell for quite a bit too. So this is a good gold making method as well as farming three best. So next pull, another solo deviate adder. Just blast it down. And moving on. Next pull again, we have a druid of the fang and a couple pythons. Similar to the first pull with uh, the pythons, we're going to multi-shot into the pythons, nuke them down really quick, and then we'll just be on the druid of the fang. Pythons come into me, melee weave them down really quick, and onto the druid. Now there's one annoying thing with the druids of the fang is that they can put you to sleep for like 12 seconds, and it's the most annoying thing to deal with. And there's nothing you can do. They sleep you, and then everything gets to... All the aggro moves onto your scorpion. So if you have multiple targets on you, you're sitting there asleep for 10 seconds while your scorpion is just getting hit. 
And most of the time, your Scorpion won't die, though. If it's just two mobs, you should be fine. All right, this next Druid of the Fang is another patrol in this hallway. Generally, you can kill this solo Druid of the Fang with the two Pythons before this guy walks into you. But if you have a bad spawn, bad patrol, wait for the Druid of the Fang to move back up the hallway. All right, we can see we have an Ectoplasm on the right side. That's another patrol. Uh, you can skip by him on the left side, but it's pretty risky. I just take care of him because he's really quick to kill. Nothing special here. All right, this is the dangerous hallway. There are quite a few patrols in this room. There's a lot of big trash mobs that can kill you. There's a couple of pulls where it gets dicey with three to four mobs. This viper here that I'm targeting on the right side is one that's the patrols all the way down the hallway. I take care of it right now in this room while there's open space. If you kill it in the hallway, there's a good chance that you can pull other mobs with it. So just take care of it solo here. Okay, now we have the next Deviant Viper. This is a solo pull. Nothing special here is normal. I see around the corner there that there's a Druid of the Fang. You want to be careful you're not pulling up into the left there and pulling multiple mobs at once. Okay, so this pull can get a little dicey depending on how you do things. The Deviant Adder can patrol far enough away where you pull it solo. You'll see right now the Druid of the Fang and the other Viper kind of move off to the right, so I take advantage of that timing and I pull the Adder itself. If you are unlucky or you don't pull at the proper time, you will pull all three of those mobs at once, and it's most likely going to result in a wipe if you're not careful. Okay, so now all we have is two mobs to deal with. Drop a Freezing Trap, pull the Viper into it, and we'll kill the Druid of the Fang on the left. You see, I kind of <laughs> I kind of screwed up in this pull. I accidentally had my Scorpid hit the Viper by accident, and as a result, I ended up trapping one of the Pythons, which I just killed anyways while it was up here and close with me. Not a big deal, but now I'm kiting the Druid of the Fang kind of around the corner, trying to pull it back to me so that I don't aggro anything else further down the hallway, and we'll just take the Viper out as normal. Now, like I've said, be careful. Try not to pull extra mobs, but I was playing really greedy in this run. I was trying to blast through it as quick as I could, and as a result, I was making a couple of mistakes, but take it slow, take your time, and if you do pull two mobs, three mobs, don't panic. You can kite around with Wing Clip. You can use a Scorpid to taunt multiple mobs at once. Your Scorpid is going to be pretty tanky, so take advantage of them. Now, we're through one of the, one of the most difficult pulls on the run. Now, this last bit of the hallway before the boss is another difficult one. You see we've got two Druids of the Fang and one Deviant Adder. I've just marked this one with the skull. This is a patrol you want to watch for. If you don't see this Druid of the Fang coming up the hallway, as you're coming up on that other Druid of the Fang and the Deviant Adder, wait until the patrol comes. You can see there's another Adder behind, so you've got four mobs total here in this room. Make sure you do not pull all of them. I can't remember. I think I end up pulling the one on the right here. I got a little greedy. I wasn't waiting. Yeah, here we go. So this Viper kind of came in at the perfect timing. I killed the Druid of the Fang, and the Viper pulled into me right at the perfect timing. If you do not wait, and you just pull that Druid of the Fang and the other Adder there in the hall, you're going to end up with four mobs on you. You're going to wipe your run, and it kind of sucks. All right, so we cleared these two. Easy peasy. Moving on to these, this next trash pack. I drop a Freezing Trap for the Adder, take out the Druid of the Fang as normal. Nothing difficult here. Typical melee weaving. And at some point, I'm probably going to do a separate video on melee weaving itself. It does add a decent amount of uh, DPS. And it's fun to do, honestly, once you get used to it. It's something you just end up doing on autopilot. You don't even think about it. You'll just start running into mobs to hit them with a melee strike every set, like every chance you get. All right, so David Adder and the Druid of the Fanger down. Next pull. Same thing. You can freeze and trap the Deviant Adder, kill the Druid of the Fang, and sometimes the Pythons will pull, sometimes they won't. It depends on where they're patrolling around. You see they're coming a little bit closer to me, and then if everything groups together, it's not the end of the world. Just multi-shot down the Pythons really quick and do the, tr the trash pack as normal. 
see again i accidentally hit the adder with my uh the viper with my scorpid before i pulled him into my trap so i was like whatever we'll just take them both out at the same time also on that note my my gear is not that great during this run like i'm a fresh 25 i'm not fully geared up in black fathom deeps and you can see how quickly and easily i'm doing this run if you just hit 25 this is definitely the place you want to start all right one last trash back to go you can see that druid of the fang at the top left there you can definitely skip that one if you want you can kill it for more loot but there's no real reason to okay one last easy pull another freezing trap for the adder kill the druid of the fang and you'll be on the boss after Now, there's one thing with this pull you have to be careful for. You see this Druid of the Fang is pretty close to the boss. As he gets low health, he is going to run away. And you want to make sure that he doesn't run into the boss. You see here, I got lucky he ran back out to the hallway. But there is a chance he can run towards the boss and pull the boss. So keep that in mind. Be ready to hit concussive shot or go in for a really quick wing clip. Slow him down and take him out before he pulls the boss. Okay, trash is all cleared now. You're on the boss. Boss is very simple. He can put you to sleep just like the other Druids of the Fang, which would be annoying, but your Scorpion's is not going to die in those 12 seconds you're asleep, so it's not an issue here. Drink up. You don't have to drink a full either. You see I'm drinking up almost the full mana here before I pull, but I could have pulled right now with 60% mana. I would have been perfectly fine. This boss dies pretty quick. All right, so I send the Serpent Sting in. Multi-shot the pythons, arcane shot, and melee them really quick, take them out. I pull my pet back to help me with the pythons really quick, but you could just leave a scorpid on the boss and kill them with melee weaving. Okay, and now you're just killing the boss down. Very easy stuff. You see I get put to sleep here. 14 seconds. I think I come out of it halfway through, if I remember correctly. Yeah, 9 seconds left, and I popped out of it. And we just finish the boss off now. Go through with our melee weaving. Kill him really quickly, and that's it. Congratulations, you've cleared Wailing Caverns, and you got your leggings at the Fang. I already had a pair from the run before this, but you get the point. The other thing to keep in mind with Wailing Caverns is you're going to get a lot of trash. Like you see in my bags here, all of those forked tongues across the top row, those are 11 silver each. Leggings of the Fang, that's another 11 silver every run if you get them to drop. And you can see all the other trash loot and greens. That, uh, you're going to get about 70, 70 to 90 silver per run, plus any perfect deviate scales. Like you see, I got three here in my bags. On my server, there was about a gold 50 each. So it's going to add up really quick. All right. We just cleared Wayland Caverns. You've got a full set of loot in your bags. We want to unload quickly and get going on the next run, assuming laggings of the fang didn't drop for you, or you're out here farming some perfect deviate scales for gold. Luckily for you, there's a vendor on top of Wayland Caverns. And it just takes a quick run around this mountain here to sell everything off and get going on the next run. Now, if you're Horde, luckily the crossroads is right here. If you need to resupply on food, water, arrows, whatever, vendors are right there for you. If your Alliance, however, is going to be a little bit of a trek to restock on everything and then get going again. So if you're Alliance, I do recommend making sure your ammo slots are full. You got a full stack of food, water, and you'll be good to go for quite a few runs before you have to resupply. Now, as we see, we're on top of Wailing Caverns. We drop down onto this little ledge here, do a quick 180, jump off to the left, and we hop inside, and here's our vendor. Sell everything off really quick, and you're good to go for the next run. All right, we now know how to clear Wailing Caverns solo as a hunter in Season of Discovery. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to the channel, and drop a comment down below and let me know what you'd like to see next, possibly. As we know, the meta is shifting very rapidly for hunters, and I'm going to be making sure I cover everything so you don't miss anything and you stay up to date. So make sure you subscribe. Uh, as always, I'm going to be dropping a link to my Discord and my Twitch in the video description. So you can join the Discord and be part of the community as well as catch me live on Twitch. Thank you for watching everybody and we'll see you in the next video.